All right, this is our sand pendulum. We can see up here that it's hang it's got a big V shaped pair of ropes. It's hanging from the ceiling up here. And uh I've got it secured in a way that I can adjust that length. There's a couple of sandbags at the end of the uh black piece of paper there so that helps keep it taut while I pull it. So we're going to there's a stopper here. We'll pull the stopper off. And as we pull the stopper off, the sand will start coming out. And I'll pull it back to get it going. Now I'm going to try and pull it at constant speed. Okay, let's get this out of the way. You can see the approximate wavelength over here is about 25 centimeters from how consistent was I in terms of the speed. Not too bad. Out here it's about 27 centimeters. The amplitude looks to be about 38 centimeters at the front end and about 35 centimeters here at the back end. So obviously there was some some damping of the uh, pendulum activity, some loss of energy. And if we count how many waves we have here, if we consider that a, a crest there, then we went one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, just about ten, ten and a half when you consider down here, about ten and a half waves. So uh, we can check the timing on the camera on the video later on and see what our frequency was. If we uh, take those ten waves divided by the time that it took. All right, that's that one. pendulum here, the sand pendulum that will operate in two planes. All right, this is our ball. We're going to put some more sand we're going to put some more sand here in just a little bit. It's a plastic Christmas ornament and uh, there's a, a hole that I've melted in the bottom with a nail. It's just covered with some masking tape to keep the sand in for now. We'll just pour the sand in through a funnel right into that opening. I've got the velcro wrap here so that it acts as a single point um, from which the pendulum hangs. Those two strings come up and right up here we've got another wrap that will then form a Y and that Y shape goes up to the ceiling. And up there at the ceiling I have some binder clips and those binder clips allow me to adjust it. It goes through that binder clip and then is secured further over there. So I could, I've got enough length to this string that I could carry this all the way down to the floor. I've got it on the top of some desks. There's the other string and there's the other binder clip over there by the Osmium poster. So that allows me to kind of change the length of this pendulum pretty easily. And it has this kind of action. We pull it back and the pendulum has two different uh, modes of oscillation. If we look at it from this angle, 
we can see, let's see if we can catch the whole thing here. We can see the pendulum kind of just swinging from the ceiling up there. I'm pretty much in line with it. You can see that the whole pendulum is just swinging back and forth to the left and to the right from the camera's view right now. If we then switch over to this angle, we can see that from this point right here, then kind of a, a busy background right here, but from that point right there, we can see the pendulum kind of moving like this and this. And so we've got two actions. One is moving north-south, one is moving east-west, and the combination creates kind of an irregular, apparently irregular pattern down there at the bottom, which we're going to take a look at with the sand draining out. All right, let's this go. top piece of paper, it's okay if we spill a little sand on it because that top sheet's going to be removed once we get this thing moving. I just don't want to get uh, stray sand all over the place. It kind of takes away from the trail of sand that's going to be left once we open the thing up. So we're going to get it going here. I'm going to pull back, take the tape off. It's going to start dripping. And give it a, let it start swinging. And then like I said, we've got a little bit of stuff we don't want on there, so I'm going to take that stuff off. It's kind of drained and now the sand has stopped falling to the center hole there. And turned out pretty neat. Here's some low angle lighting here. Shadows out here at this end are pretty cool. We have a bump in the paper here that kind of is unfortunate because it's casting some shadows that I'd rather not have.